there, guys. I'm sorry, I'm crunching. <laughs> it's Becky Bamboo. Today is Tuesday, July 5th, 2011. I hope you all had a fabulous 4th of July holiday. I apologize that I'm a little late on my video. Um, this is actually the week 52 when, no, excuse me, week 53 when. Um, I, I weighed Monday, but I didn't make a video because um, I was doing a lot of other stuff and really just, I had been enjoying my life. So um, I'm fitting videos in where I can now. And I understand why people kind of tend to make less videos the farther out they get because there's less to talk about um, and you're having more fun in your life which is most definitely true for me. So the numbers. Uh, I started my journey at 424 pounds. Last week I weighed 195. This week I weigh 195. Nothing exciting. I knew um, that I wasn't going to lose anything this week. I wasn't really trying to lose anything this week. Um, and I didn't really work out a lot. I, I worked out really hard on Friday. And I was very, very active all weekend long. So, uh, which I'll talk a little bit more about. But, um, so I know I did, um, I burned calories over the weekend <laughs> for sure, but not from gym time. It was from doing fun activities, which is nice. It's just a different, you know, you're still getting exercise. It's just a different way. Um, and I will admit, it's Tuesday. I'm not going to the gym today. I'm completely exhausted. I'm sore. I'm not going to go. And, you know, whatever. I'll go tomorrow. So... What did I do this weekend? Well, I had told you guys I was going to ride the motorcycle, which I did. Um, we got it Friday night, rode Friday night, uh, rode all day Saturday until the afternoon, and then it was so stinking hot. The heat index was like 104. It was stinking hot, and my husband's like, I don't want to go back out on the bike. It's hot. And I said, yeah, let's go to the pool. So we went to the pool to swim, so, which was fantastic, I have to say. And while we were at the pool, I said, you know, this would be such a good weekend to go out on the boat. My parents' husband have a ski boat, a speed boat. I don't know, whatever you call it, ski boat. And um, we've been going out on the boat every summer since, I think, pretty much since I started dating him, that we, we've managed to go out at least once in each summer. And uh, when I first started dating him, they, you know, he, he had this, like, bright idea that, I should learn to water ski because he water skis and it would be really fun if we could water ski side by side. Okay, that sounds great. I water skied when I was a kid. Okay. Yeah, well, at the time I was like 300 pounds. It wasn't happening. Do you know how hard it is to try to hold on to a ski rope when, when you've got your weight plus the weight of all the water from the boat trying to pull your ass up out of it? Yeah, wasn't happening. I couldn't even hold on to the rope long enough to get pulled up out of the water. So um, I quit. I said, forget it. This is not going to happen. And I haven't gotten back in behind the boat since then. Well, um, I said to my husband on Saturday, I said, you know, it would be great to go out on the boat this weekend. He was like, yeah, I'll call mom and dad and find out. Well, they really wanted to go. So we, just the four of us, ended up going boating which was a fantastic time. I think that it's good for me and my husband and just his parents to be together sometimes because we've kind of butted heads on different things. And I think it just, it kind of gives us an opportunity to maybe start making men's on that and getting a little closer than we used to be, which is nice. And uh, so anyway, um, we went out on the boat, and the last time I saw my mother-in-law, she was like, we need to get you out on the boat now that you've lost all this weight, because I'm sure you'll be able to ski, and blah, 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 blah. And I said to my husband, I'm like, I'm still not going to be able to ski. I'm still too heavy. I'm still not going to be able to hold on, and blah, 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 blah. Well, they got me back behind the boat this weekend. And um, to my surprise, I was able to get my big ass up out of the water. Um, now, can I say that I skied? No. I skied like a foot and then I'd fall. A foot and then I'd fall. I fell forwards and I fell backwards and I fell to the left and I fell to the right. I could never quite get the balance right. Water skiing is not easy. And it pisses me off because my husband and his brother, 
get back behind the boat and make it look like it's the easiest damn thing that you could ever do. They pop up out of the water and then they fix their trunks with their one hand while they hold on with one hand. And I'm like, God, they make it look so easy. And I'm back there like, oh my God, what is going on? How are they doing this? But anyway, I did get, I was able to hold on enough to get up out of the water. And um, unfortunately, um, you start to get tired, you know, your muscles get fatigued after a while of trying it. So I needed a break. So I took a break. And the time that I was getting ready to, to start skiing again or to try again, all these storm clouds started coming. <laughs> we were like, okay, maybe we should just take the boat off the water because it's not looking good. And so we ended up having to, to just call it a day. But so I told my husband, I'm like, I'm super competitive with myself about athletic things. Like, I want to be able to do athletic things. And so now it's just like a, a mission that I have to, by the end of summer, I will water ski, damn it. <laughs> you know? And he really wants me to do it because he really wants to ski side by side with me. Which I think will be a blast if I can ever get to where I can actually ski by myself <laughs> first. So, um, anyway... I told, hopefully we'll get to go out on the boat a couple more times this year and I can have more opportunity to try to water ski. Very much looking forward to that. But I had the most fun on the boat than that I've what I've ever had with them. Um, it was just a relaxing day and we were actually talking about the last time I was on the boat and I wanted to share this with you guys. The last time I was on the boat was last year in August for my husband's birthday, the end of August. Um, and this is what I look like at the end of August last year. Can you even believe it? That's me and the dog on the boat. Can you believe that that person is the same person as this? I cannot. It, it freaks me out. And I'm so, like, paranoid now about, like, how I look. I have to show you this picture as well because I rode the motorcycle over the weekend. I still in my head think I'm huge. So I made my husband take a picture of me on the motorcycle from behind because I was mortified at how people were seeing me from, from the ass end. Because when you're on the back of a motorcycle, your ass is just hanging out, you know? I mean, just it just is. And so he took this for me, and he said, you're going to be really surprised when you see this, and you realize how small you are. And I said, okay, let's see it. And I really am. I'm really surprised that, that that's me. I mean, to me, that doesn't, I don't, like, that's not me. Like, I can't wrap my head around it, but it put me at ease to know that, like, people behind us in cars aren't going, God damn, look at her ass. It's so big. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, that's, I mean, like, that's literally what I was thinking. So, um, yeah, but, the, um, you know, the boating thing was interesting because um, I had that picture and my mother-in-law was talking about it. She's like, you know, thinking back to the last time you were on the boat was Jared's birthday last year. And do you know how different you look? And I was like, yeah, I was thinking about that picture on the way to the lake that day. And uh, my husband and I had actually talked about it. And, <laughs> and she's like, you're not anything like this, that person. Not, not at all. And I'm like, they finally, get, or they finally get it. I'm nothing like that person. I'm not the same person at all. You can't treat me the same. You can't act like I'm the same. Because I'm not. I don't feel the same inside or out. So, um, I don't know. It was just kind of neat. And my father-in-law told me, you know, like, you're looking really good. And... I'm really surprised at how well you've done. And I think so many people thought I was going to fail at this. Even my older brother confessed to my mom recently that um, he is so crazy proud of how well I've done with this and that he was definitely one of the skeptics and really believed that I would fail. Like, I wouldn't be anywhere near this point in a year that I wouldn't have changed myself the way that I have in a year. And uh, it makes me feel good because it makes me feel like, you know, I set out on this, on this journey and this mission to change my life. I didn't want the life I had. 
I still want the same people in my life that I had, but I wanted a different life for me, one that I could be proud of and do things that I can be proud of and feel accomplished at doing. Uh, you know, running has become one of those huge things for me. I never thought I'd be a runner, but I'm damn proud that I am, and I'm damn proud to tell people, I can run a 5K. You're damn right I can run a 5K. Um, is it hard? Yeah, it's hard. Of course it's hard. It's running. Running's not easy. It's not. It's work. But I can do it. And so it makes me feel good to know that, like, my mission has been seen, you know? Like, not only do I see it because I have found things in athletics that I that I really love and that have really helped make my journey what it is, but also that people who are part of my life have seen like, oh my God, she's like serious. Like she really did this and she did it. And I mean, that's like, that's what I wanted all along. I needed help to lose it. No doubt about it. I couldn't have done it by myself. But this gave me the opportunity to figure out what I needed to do to make it stick and make it right. And I don't know. I, I know it sounds crazy, but whatever. So uh, for those of you who are pre-op, I'm doing this video today for a lot of the pre-op people. I know how you guys are feeling sitting in your life thinking my life's never going to change I'm never going to be able to do what she's doing or what he's done or what this person's done. I, I Am I ever going to reach whatever goal it is I have? Yeah, you are. If you want it and you're willing to work for it, you can do it. anything. You can do anything you want. And I feel like I'm a, just a testament to that. If you want it, and you go get it, you can have it. And all that I can say is like, here I am a year later, and I'm finally living life. Living. I didn't know what living was until recently. And it all of a sudden struck me, like, I'm working hard, I'm playing hard, I'm having a good time. I have a good time when I go to work. I have a positive attitude. I don't go to work and go, oh, I really don't want to work today and this is going to really suck, which is exactly what I used to do. I don't really like so-and-so that I work with and I have to work with her today and this is just going to suck because I don't even want to talk to her. I don't do that. I love the girls that I work with. I get up in the morning before work and I think, it's early, but I'm going to work and I'm going to have a good time and I'm going to get to know these patients and I'm going to get to know my coworkers. And you know what? I'm getting, I'm reaping the reward of that because they're getting to know me. I'm getting to know them. And it's creating a very, very positive work environment. And I'm working hard and I'm learning a lot because my mind's not obsessing over, I really hate being here. I don't really want to be here. I really want to go home. And in my personal life, I'm having an excellent time. My marriage is awesome. And it was in the shitter almost before it started. And we have worked really hard on our relationship over the last year and a half and worked really hard in incorporating my new life with our new life. This was an opportunity for both of us to change, for both of us to make our lives fuller and richer and be able to do more. And that's the first thing my husband will say, what's your favorite thing about um, me post-op weight loss surgery. The fact that you can do stuff. You got energy. We can. You just go, 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 go. You're not afraid to do anything. We try new stuff. We go new places. I was very much like I went to the same restaurants because I knew I would fit in the seats. I did never want to go do things social because I didn't want anybody to stare at me. I mean, I was just very, like, homebound. And now... I don't even want to be at home half the time. I mean, I just like, yeah, let's go. Let's. I don't care what we do. Let's just go. I mean, that's how our, that's how the weekends have been. It's just, uh, what do you want to do this weekend? I don't know. I don't know either. But let's do something. Let's just get out of the house. So hey, let's just go walk around somewhere. I don't care. And that's what we do. And then all of a sudden, like the weekend is jam packed full because we've just thought, well, maybe we should. Let, you know, boating sounds kind of fun. Maybe we could get people to go boating, and then we're boating. I mean, it's just, I'm, I understand living, 
and I know it probably sounds nuts because I'm 31 going on 32 and it's just it's refreshing it's refreshing to wake up and not be scared it's refreshing to wake up and not have this dark cloud over my head and feel like I don't know the world is gonna crash down on me at any moment and it, man it's just it's really it's really good life is really good and really important and I didn't realize how important and how good it was but it is it's really it's nice I like not carrying the burden of childhood trauma with me anymore I like I don't even hardly think about it anymore and I thought from the moment I was living it that I would never forget it like I would never not think about it that there would be I, I always thought every day I woke up that would be the first thing I would think about in the morning and the last thing I thought about before I went to bed is you know sexual molestations and rape and everything else that I went through I thought that'd be with me forever and it's not it's finally with the weight gone it's finally like I can just be me and I don't have to dwell on it anymore and I didn't understand how big a burden the weight was and how much that was connected to like my soul but it was so I guess it's just nice it's nice to get up and live just live I'm just doing my thing so if the videos become less and less for me you'll know why it's because I'm having fun I'm doing my thing um, but I promise I'm not gonna leave you guys um, I believe that YouTube has been the catalyst for my success and I also believe that you all keep me accountable and I do expect to hit a tough road ahead I do expect that at some point this is gonna get hard and I'm gonna struggle I think that's only natural that we all go through that and I'm not gonna leave because I don't wanna leave and think everything's great and then have everything fall apart and need to come back and feel like an idiot because I left I wanna just stick to this because you guys help me keep it real you help me keep it focused and I think that long term as long as I keep doing this and keep getting the support and encouragement and love and being able to give that back to everybody that it really will keep me in the game and I'm not gonna have any kind of issues with my weight after this I'm just you know gonna be smooth sailing because um, there's there's a huge accountability thing with this you know uh, I'm like right now I'm not gonna lie I should go work out today but I'm not going to and the reason I'm not going to is because my muscles hurt my whole body hurts from skiing and I'm not gonna push it I'm just not and there's probably something I could do that you know would benefit me but I'm tired and I'm not gonna do it so oh well I'm gonna move onward there's always tomorrow and honestly uh, I feel a lot better tonight muscle ache wise I've been really sore from like my neck through my shoulders and down the backs of my arms and in my hands from water skiing and actually in my butt cheeks too <laughs> from trying to stand up and balance and all that I used muscles I didn't even really knew I had but um, you know, I, I woke up this morning and I thought, oh my gosh, this hurts so bad. But after working, it's working out and I just think one more day of rest and all will be well. I'll be back to my normal self. So I'm just, you know, I don't know. I'm just trying, I keep it real with you guys. When I don't work out, I tell you because I like to tell you when I do work out and I don't want to feel like I'm only telling you the positive stuff. There's, I'm not perfect, not going to be perfect, not going to strive to be perfect. I just want to be me, and that's what you get. The one thing I didn't get to do this weekend is meet with um, Charm93, Michelle. Um, she was down here and had contacted me. Oh, my God, I don't even remember. that. This is how crazy my weekend was, but she contacted me. I think it was Saturday night and wanted to meet Sunday only I had ended up prior to that making plans for going boating on Sunday so I called her and said hey can we do it Monday morning instead and I never heard back from her 
And I never heard back from her. And I was like, okay, well, maybe they just decided they didn't have money available and that was that. So I didn't really think anything about it. Monday evening at like 7.15, 7.20, I don't know what it was, 7 something. All of these messages start coming into my phone. Messages, texts, voicemails, all this crap. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? Well, Sunday when we were out boating all day, we were out in the boonies, and I didn't have cell service. And for whatever reason, apparently, I mean, I hadn't used my phone at all Monday because I was here for a, in the morning, and then I was out on the motorcycle, and I'm sure where we were, there was no cell service either. So for whatever reason, I didn't get any phone calls or any text messages, and I just thought everybody was busy. I mean, it's very unusual for me to not have texts and stuff. But I just thought, well, you know, it's a holiday, and everybody's just having a good time and whatever. So I didn't think much about it. And then all of a sudden that, that night, all this shit starts coming into my phone. And I'm like, and they never showed up as missed calls. But she was trying to call me. And she had left me like three voicemails. And she had texted me to tell me, hey, do you want to still want to meet Monday morning? To this morning? So I never got them until that night. And she was already back home. So I'm so pissed. Like, I don't know what the hell happened with my phone. But regardless... We didn't get a chance to meet. So we're still trying. I just, it makes me irritated. I don't know um, what's going on. And actually, um, my husband had a very similar issue with his phone too. And I, I swear it must just be because we were out in the middle of nowhere for so long that and I, you would think when we got back, everything would be fine. But I don't know. Maybe service, I, I, service was down. I, I, it confuses me. But regardless... Uh, we're still going to try. So um, anyway, it was a great weekend, and I hope everybody else had a great weekend. And I just, you know, I said this video was a lot to the pre-ops, and, and I stand by that, that um, I want you guys to know that um, it does get better. And if you keep working at it and keep working at it and keep working at it, you can change everything that you want it, want your life to be. You can change it all to whatever whatever you want it to be. And you may not know what you want it to be at the beginning. You might just think, all I do, all I want is to lose weight and be healthier. That's where I started too. And, you know, I just kept pushing myself and pushing myself and pushing myself. And pretty soon, before I know it, I was running and I'm thinking, what am I doing? I'm not a runner. This is stupid. I need to quit this. And then I kept doing it. And I was like, yeah, I kind of like doing this. It makes me feel really good. And then I started to see my body change. And I thought, okay, I'm just going to keep doing this because it's good. And I can't imagine not running now. I mean, I just, I like doing it that much. I never thought I'd like running that much, but I do. So week in, week out, I continue to do it. Just reach for it, guys. Just reach for it and live life. Live it. It's wonderful to start living I missed out for the last, I swear, I feel like I've missed out since my childhood on life. And I'm finally just able to let go and move forward. And it's refreshing. It's really refreshing. The one thing that I do want to talk about is that, um, like, uh, tribute tattoos or tattoos uh, that have meaning. Um, I'm, I love tattoo body art. Um, you know, body modification, I'm big on all that stuff. And I have been wanting a tattoo to represent um, my weight loss journey. And, I, and, and the letting go of so much that has haunted me for so long. And I want to know what people's opinions are about those kind of tattoos. And opinions about getting tattoos in places that are visible all the time. Um, and I won't, the reason I'm asking is because um, I really am considering having this done on my wrist, on my inner wrist. And um, so it's obviously, so it's something that is going to be seen all the time from now until I die. And I'm second guessing the placement because of professional reasons. Um, but I want to know what you guys think about it because... Um, you know, it's a big decision to make. It's going to be there forever, and I want to make the right decision on it. And there's other places that I could put it 
where it could be covered up. But um, I just, I don't know. I guess I just want your opinion on, on uh, has anybody gotten tattoos, uh, weight loss surgery related tattoos or tattoos of letting go of one section of your life and beginning another? Uh, do you regret it? Um, you know, I, I don't know. I just want I just want some opinions on the whole idea of that. Um, so anyway, that's it. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful work week, and I will check in soon. Mwah.